What the final recap wasn't supposed to be that way? Aw, oh, poor thing. What were you expecting? That this Asian woman supposed to get her Susie Wong moment with her white man? Where she has her Miss Saigon moment where her white man becomes this white savior, white knight that saves her from a lonely life. Aw, oh, so she can fulfill this mighty white and mellow yellow trope. But the ending to The Bachelorette is not surprising because it happened before. And that might be the fun thing about reality TV, is that the contestants can subvert the trope. Who ended the relationship? Cody did. <laughs> and when did this happen? Like after we got back last night. Last night. <laughs> I mean, things were great. Like, we had a discussion that I was to move to Sydney around, like, April. He made all those moves. Like, I never pressured any of that. Last night, he was a bit mm -hmm. more standoffish than usual. After, <laughs> like, obviously, like, everyone was gone, I went and grabbed his hand. And he kind of just, like, flinched and, like, took it away. And I was like, oh, okay. Is it that bad holding my hand? I was like, I just don't want to. And that's when I do say things like, well, why am I here? Like, let me go. I'm not feeling it. And he said, I want to end things. <laughs> just, it's, yeah. Judging by all the angry videos I've seen about this and how the producers are being mean to Jen, I'm actually enjoying it because it subverted a trope. Not to mention, Jen suffered consequences for her actions of ignoring red flags. But let's face it, this will pass because it was a white man, and we know these actions will never get generalized to all white men. But hey, that's real life, and as I've been told, you don't get your Hollywood ending, especially when racist America does everything they can to deny it to you.